I was showing you how to put on the programmable coolant. You see it comes with a special bracket and uh, previously this bracket was on it. It's two screws, four after the machine, and then you had coolant holes and your on-off valves. So this bracket itself has the same two holes underneath it, one in the front, one in the back. The uh, programmable nozzle has two bolts that go in the front of it and bolts on the front side of the plate from what I'm aware of. Um, coming around to the side of it, I'll show you that the steps I had to do to put this together was I put, I didn't put the bracket on the machine off the get-go. I put this piece onto the bracket and then screwed this swivel portion of it onto this. Brought this side long side down, tightened the 90 into this long side, and then tightened this piece into here. And then wherever this may lay at that portion of it, I tightened the top nut or the bottom nut underneath here to keep it in position, put the short tube on, on off valve and the adapter and then the actual coolant hose that came originally with the machine. There's also a small wire here that I run, just zip stripped it. I used wider ones that were supplied so make sure I don't rub through it. Up into the top portion of the machine, I'm using the black, two black ones that Haas supplied. And I put little pieces of rubber hose around it, so in case it decides to rub, it's rubbing inside the rubber hose. And then just chisel it off, a small little notch for the wire to go through this black plastic cap into the column. From the column, I took this back plate off, it's two screws, run it to the inside of the machine. And inside the machine, I run it down to the wire looms, black this little uh, gray plastic piece that comes all the way down, takes a break, and then it goes in this area. And you can see right here, there's the part number. And this is all one cable that comes from the inside of it. It's really easy to run. And they give you a substantially long cable that plugs on the board itself. This plugs into, it says right on there, uh, PCB P35. It's labeled right on the board. Spigot P35. Pretty easy to do. Uh, before you come back here, make sure your machine is in the off position and make sure that none of these lights are on or anything else in here. This, I mean, if you get electrocuted, that's your own fault. It's not mine. You're just mildly stupid. But that's how they plug into each other. Real easy to do on a TM1. And I'm here in my garage doing this, so I don't have any fancy tools. It runs down into it. And then I'll show you the piece of paper that came from Haas that was important. Says right there, uh, power on machine, change parameter 57 bit 11, coolant spigot to one. First, you have to go to settings and enable parameter lock or disable it, which I believe is either seven or nine. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. And then once you do that, then you go into parameters, hit the e-stop, change this to one, just type in one and then enter. And uh, it's ready to rock and roll. Everything works on the machine. I've already taken it through its maiden voyage, but I have other parts I'm putting on this machine today. But uh, there you go. Bare bones, Haas TM1. Programmable coolant works perfectly on it. Doesn't take any type of calibration, nothing. All right, until next time.